Captivate is a tablet application that helps parents interact with their child by displaying context-relevant and real-time language guidance. In this video, we describe the motivation, design process, and evaluation of our system. Parent language plays a critical role in the language development of young children. Especially in a child's early years, the language that they hear from their caregivers act as language nutrition that enables them to form language ability. However, studies have found wide disparities in the quantity and quality of language provided by parents. By the age of three, some children are exposed to millions fewer words than their peers. Insufficient language exposure has been linked to a wide gap in the vocabulary and language ability of children, as well as a high risk of delayed language development. Importantly, some parents have been found to be especially challenged due to social, cultural, and linguistic factors, such as those in low SES, or linguistically diverse homes, such as immigrant families. How can we help these parents provide richer language and interactions with their children? The traditional solution has been in-person guidance by a trained therapist. However, the cost and time burden limits the frequency of in-person sessions. Moreover, external factors such as COVID-19 can prevent guidance sessions altogether. Technology can help fill this gap by providing low-cost and easily accessible guidance at home to complement these professional sessions. There have been a few recent works that have explored guidance technology for caregivers. These systems analyze speech signals to track parent word count, conversational turns, and dialogue sentiment to provide feedback such as speak more words, don't interrupt your child, or give more praise. But imagine a play situation with a young child. A parent might be aware that engaging their child is important, but what exactly should they say? In this case, an understanding of context is critical. By knowing that the child is playing with a car toy, a parent can engage the child with dialogue related to cars, such as, wow, that car is fast, who's driving? The child in turn can form associations between the world and language. However, existing systems do not have an understanding of context. This insight led us to design Captivate, the first system that explores contextual language guidance. Our application is running on a tablet near the parent. The child had been playing with a fish, cat, and bus toy. And we can see that the app is displaying cards related to these objects. Now, let's see what happens when the child switches their focus to a pair of shoes. The app does not react immediately because attentional changes in young children may be fleeting and temporary, making changes to the UI too rapid. But after the contextual change becomes apparent, shoe-related phrases start to appear without needing any manipulation from the parent. This enables them to reference diverse and relevant phrases while staying focused on the interaction. To understand context in real time, Captivate uses multimodal information. Using speech only, like prior systems, is restrictive as young children cannot communicate clearly. In addition to natural language, Captivate uses gaze and scene information to estimate which toys are being focused on during play. Based on the context, it recommends phrases for the parent to use while playing with the child. These phrases also stimulate engagement by encouraging diverse actions and play situations using toys. We designed our system based on empirical studies on language acquisition, user studies with parent-child dyads in multicultural families, as well as language development experts specializing in guiding these families. A key insight we found during our study was the challenges that immigrant parents in Korea face while raising their children. Currently, there is yet social pressure to raise children only in the dominant Korean language, which forces the parents to interact in a language they might not be comfortable with. As a result, many parents use limited expressions and language in their interactions. Throughout our design iterations, we improved Captivate to be more useful and usable by these parents. We aim to help the parents be more responsive to their child, 
as well as use more active and diverse language. With our final design, we evaluated Captivate with seven parent-child dyads. We recruited parents raising infants and toddlers and recorded two 30-minute play sessions, once using Captivate and once using paper cards as a control condition. We found the following results. Most significantly, Captivate improved the parent's responsiveness towards their child's current focus. We observed that when the parents used cards, they were distracted when looking for the relevant phrases to use. On the other hand, Captivate enabled parents to stay focused on their child because they did not have to navigate any interface. We also found that child engagement was often correlated with the higher parent responses. In other words, the child was more interested in playing when the parent was responsive. We did not observe large differences in parent language quantity and diversity. This was because parents actively used both the cards and the Captivate app and consciously tried to speak actively in both cases. However, the proportion of words that were responsive to the child's focus was significantly higher with Captivate, as mentioned previously. That said, we emphasize that our small sample size cannot establish Captivate's effectiveness. Rather, we believe that our work serves as an early exploration of the potential of contextual language guidance technology to help parents. We hope that our work will inspire researchers to think about how context awareness can empower guidance technologies for not just parents, but for other populations as well. Finally, we have explored the question of how should we design guidance technology for linguistically diverse and minority families? Currently, HCI research in this area is very limited. We invite the CHI community to join us in understanding and designing technology for these families.